Hey guys, in this video today, I want to show you the difference between delete and ripple delete in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad and also for the desktop. Because the reason why I make this video today is because I stumbled into a difference between Mac and Windows, but I will tell you about this in a second. When I teach DaVinci Resolve today to my father, I noticed this difference. We have two deletes. We have backspace and delete on Windows, but on the Mac, we only have backspace. Why is this important? By default, we have delete, if you use Backspace. That's what we have on the Mac. That's what we have here on the iPad as well. But on the Windows laptops, you also have Delete. And then this is Ripple Delete. And that's a different operation to Delete. It's the reason why I will show you now what's the difference. But the funny thing is, on the Mac, you don't have this other key. You have to use a different keyboard shortcut than Dell. So if you are on a Windows, you can just use this one to use it. But for iPad and for Mac, you actually have to hit Shift and then Backspace. Shift and then backspace. Okay, so now you're maybe wondering what's the difference? What is delete and what is ripple delete? So I have a cut here and if I select this clip and I hit delete, I basically just delete that one. I'm here in the edit page timeline and that's it. I delete this, I have a gap in here and that's it. But if I return back and I actually do ripple delete, so I click this and I hit shift and backspace, it will delete and move to the side immediately. It maybe feels like a minor difference between the two of them. When should you use which one? Delete or ripple delete? It totally depends on your editing style. So for example, if you delete many clips and always delete the gaps, then maybe ripple delete will make your editing faster. So it's totally up to you. And ripple delete is not the same that I have on my Q and my W. If you remember or you watched my video a little bit longer like that I did in the last year, all about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, I also use ripple delete backwards to the next clip and ripple delete forwards to the next clip. So what do I mean by that? Ripple delete backwards and ripple delete forwards is a different type of deleting, ripple deleting. So if my playhead is somewhere here and I want to delete everything from my playhead to the beginning, I can simply hit Q, bam, and everything is done. And if I want to delete everything from my playhead to the next cut, then I can basically just hit W and then everything is gone. If you want to add those two, because I think those are the most important that you can have for editing Q and W, you have to come to the shortcuts menu, option, command and K. And you have to look for ripple and then start to playhead and ripple end to playhead. Make sure that you give a shortcut to those two, Q and W, and then you have the same that I have here with Q and W. I hope this video was helpful. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bam bang gong, and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel, and here on this channel, it's all about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. Bye.